And this is the new tyranny. The, the big one, of, uh, of course, uh, because of the documentation and because of the uh, really heroic effort uh, that was put into it by the Hage family, uh, Wayne Hage, a uh, rancher in Nevada, just uh, up north of, of the Bundy family, they're friends of the Bundys, I had a, a large ranch, over 700,000 acres up there up in the arid west, you need uh, large range land in order to run cattle. Uh, he, uh, so he had his own fee simple land, and like many of these ranchers, then they have allotments. Many of these are actually deeded allotments, that is, they have purchased land, which is now called public land, or they have purchased the grazing rights on those lands. And these are actual property rights. And uh, he was targeted by the National Park Service, by the U.S. Forest Service, and by the BLM. And what's so important here is that uh, he, Wayne, who is a good friend of mine, and he married uh, Helen Chenoweth, became Helen Chenoweth Hage, the congresswoman from uh, Idaho, uh, who was a stalwart champion for uh, property rights and for all of the the battles that we were fighting here in the West. Uh, they together took on the, the federal government and over the course of many years fought the good fight in the courts, fought it in the public arena, uh, and they kept their cool. And this is very important for the current case here. Uh, uh, Wayne Hage was, had worked previously before going back into ranch. He had worked for the Forest Service. He knew some of the people there in the Forest Service and how they would try to provoke property owners into taking a stand, which they could then use, uh, bring criminal charges against them. And so he knew when they sent armed thugs to take his cattle, that uh, they were violating the law. He was not, he knew they were trying to provoke him and many of his cow hands wanted to respond. With and by the way, I'm gonna let you finish, but that's exactly what Judge Napolitano said on Fox is that the feds could only put a lien on the property that he owns outright and wait, they were not supposed to take his cattle and what they did would have probably gotten an injunction on it. Yes. Go ahead, sorry. Uh, so. Uh, what he did was, he, he they came out there, they had all their guns out there, he went out there with a camera, started taking their pictures and saying, oh, smile guys, I'm recording all this, got it on camera, just like you do, uh, uh, like we do at, the, at these events. Um, and this is important, uh, because they want to goad you into action, which they can then use to prosecute you, uh, both in the courts and prosecute you in the court of public opinion. But in fairness to the Bundys, they didn't have guns out, and then they would taser people with protest signs and beat them up, trying again to get people stirred up. But this time, they backed off when folks showed up the next time. Yes, well, and, and here's the key thing. There were enough people, enough witnesses, and there were uh, enough uh, media, alternate, alternate media and the local media that showed up, television, radio, etc., that... All of a sudden, they there were too many witnesses. They couldn't get away with this. Uh, so I believe they're backing off, but they're getting ready to come back again at uh, the, the moment they choose. And not only against the Bundys. The Bundys are critical because, as, as we've said, he's the last man standing there. In Wade, Wayne Hage's case, uh, the feds came in and actually rustled his cattle, took his cattle. But you know what? Uh, as his daughter, uh, uh, Ramona Hage Morrison, who is on the uh, Nevada Agriculture Board and the Nevada Brand Commission, pointed out, look, uh, you can, even the feds cannot just take cattle, transport them uh, to a cattle yard and sell them. Every, by law, state law, all the cattle have to go through a, a brand inspection. Out on the range, uh, you have different herds mixing, and uh, and we also have the problem of uh, cattle wrestlers. So this is incredibly cattle, established law, right? So you you have to go, you have to, and the feds have to abide by that law too. So they took him, tried to find somebody who would 
who would sell them, none of the auction yards would sell them. They say, no, you don't have a, a bill of sale. You don't have a brand inspection. We aren't going to do it. Uh, well, that's so what everybody's sick of. The feds don't follow any law. They're run by a bunch of NGOs and George Soros in their own documents saying we're taking over. We're going to bankrupt everybody. It's time they start getting prosecuted for a conspiracy. Absolutely. Absolutely. They so what they did, they sold his cattle illegally. It was a criminal act. If you or I or anyone else had done that, you'd go to prison for that. In the old days, you'd be hung for it. Uh, but the the feds went ahead and violated the laws they've done on so many of these other things here. And that's why Judge Jones's point. He's the senior uh, judge for the federal uh, federal court, this court of of Nevada, and his uh, really. Uh, blistering attack on the BLM, the Forest Service, National Park Service. He said it was a conspiracy. This was last year. Uh, he came out with his 100-page uh, uh, ruling. He said this is an ongoing multi-decade conspiracy against the Hages to deprive them of their property, to destroy... See, I didn't even know that, that there was a ruling saying it's a conspiracy. But I mean, he this is a conspiracy. Oh, yeah. he, yes, and he used that term. He said this is a conspiracy. It is. Stay and there. We're going to come right back. Criminal conspiracy. I'm sick of Uncover it. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to goberkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, goberkey.com. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, and carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. TheNewAmerican.com Incredible uh, online magazine But they also have the hard copy You can buy them in bulk at cost Just like we sell InfoWars magazine at cost To get it out to people And I, back before the internet folks These were the magazines going around And everything in them was true in fact, they were always so conservative that they would, you know, uh, hold back. Uh, is the only charge I have against them uh, is that, uh, you know, they're they're very. Uh
stickler about getting stuff just right, not going overboard. But when the globalists are going overboard on you, it sounds overboard to say everything they're doing because tyranny is overboard. And where there is a spirit of liberty, there's freedom. I mean, uh, that's really elementary. He's going to be with us 15 minutes to the next hour. I want to get into larger political issues with him, get his take at the 8 after about uh, what makes the New World Order tick and how things are going for them. But finishing up in this short segment, William F. Jasper, and he just joined us. I'm your host, Alex Jones, uh, here on this Wednesday Worldwide Edition. You know, in this court ruling you were just reading from in Nevada about the same, you know, BLM and groups, the, the Judge Jones called it a criminal conspiracy. I didn't know that. Um, then what do we do when we're faced with it, with with corrupt uh, armed uh, zealots? A lot of these BLM people and others are environmental cultists. They don't care about real environmental crises. They care about being anti-human. Uh, just in Big Ben last year, I tried to talk to BLM people twice. And they were so rude. I began seeking them out and talking to them, and they would bow up. Uh, and, and not just to me, but to others. I mean, the, I'm not saying they're all like this, but what's wrong with these people? Well, uh, you know, I, we're going to see more and more of that because that these agencies specifically recruit people like that. They want people who will be unthinking uh, Gestapo type folks. And for all of all of you Forest Service BLM uh, people who feel you don't fit that. Uh, mold out there, and I know there are there are there are many. I know many of them myself. Uh, however, even those who are in the agencies will admit. Uh, uh, I've known them all my lives. They'll, they'll say, "Yes, uh, we have a lot of those types here in the agencies," and those are the ones that are increasingly being found throughout there. Uh, when you have a growing police state, you need people who are going to implement it and people with conscience, uh, people who uh, really uh, take uh, the Constitution seriously are not going to fit in there. Uh, but w what what is so important is that uh, Judge Jones in the ruling I was talking about there, he said that the managers, the, the top people of the BLM uh, Forest Service, National Park Service, were engaged in fraud, in uh, witness tampering, in uh, a number of other things, that mail fraud. These are all uh, very serious imprisonable offenses. And he went further and he said that he wanted these people removed from his jurisdiction. And he went further and said he wanted the Attorney General, the Justice Department, to uh, initiate prosecution against them. Has uh, the uh, Justice Department, has Eric Holder initiated any kind of uh, 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 prosecution of these folks? No. Uh, has uh, Harry Reid called for any kind of uh, uh, prosecution of these folks? No. So um, uh, it, it shows that uh, when we have uh, today the Bundys being framed as the criminals and the way the the major media is, is portraying it is that these Bundys are terrible scoff laws. They're welfare ranchers who uh, refuse to pay their their allotment fees. And that's the way the environmental uh, lobby is playing. And that's the way Harry Reid is playing it, that those who came to support them are the scoff laws. Those that came to support them are a threat to American security. No, it is far worse when elected officials and appointed officials use the color of law and use the power of their office to uh yeah it has a name it's called tyranny stay there stay with us folks third hour coming up infowars.com the new american.com you're listening to this transmission you are the resistance communications radio network the globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding and making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. It is more important than ever to realize 
realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the Info War to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. Thank you.